everybody and welcome back to another video. So today guys, yep, I'll be showing you how to run your Discord bot, Discord.js bot, 24-7 using Heroku, a 100% a free platform that, that you can use to host your bot. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to need is, of course, the Discord bot. And then, so yeah, let's just get into it. So the first thing that you're going to need is github desktop the first link in the description will take you to the downloader but i'm just gonna but i have it right here downloaded so you don't have to open it immediately but just make sure that you have it and of course i'm already getting pinged by my discord so okay just do not disturb discord link in the description but okay so then take the second link in the description and this will take you to the GitHub site, github.com. Now I already have some repositories, so I'm gonna create a new repository, and I'm gonna create this repository name as you, YouTube Bot. Alrighty, description, you can put anything, you can put pretty much anything as the repository name as long as it's not taken. I would click private, don't do anything with these, Owner, wave claw 18, description, this is a YouTube bot. I hope I, okay. Alrighty, and then I'm going to create this repository. <coughs> and boom. Alright, so what we're doing now, we're going to go to GitHub Desktop, open it up, and then click on File, and then Clone Repository. Now we're going to clone the repository that you just created, which is YouTubebot right here. Now if you don't see it, you can just put in the URL, which is right here, github wave slash wave 18 slash YouTubebot. But if you do see it, then great, right here. Alrighty, and then let's clone. <coughs> so now what we're going to need is open up File Explorer. And then as you can see, I have YouTube bot. Now open this up, and then instead of copying the folder, we're gonna copy all the files inside. So get all these, and then we're gonna copy these. We're gonna head into documents, go to GitHub, YouTube bot, and then we're gonna paste. <coughs> Boom. So now we have all of this in. So now what we're gonna do is open up our VS code. Now this is my bot. But what we're going to do instead is instead of using the bot, we're going to quickly create a new window. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to file and then we're going to open folder. And we're going to open the YouTube bot. <coughs> All right, so now we're going to go to bot.js. And then this is the token. But if you have a token or something like const token, it's not going to work. So now what we need to do is instead type process.env.token. Now, even though it might not autocomplete token for you, that's fine. We're going to do that later. I don't know why I have the prefix in here. But all right. <coughs> so now that we have this. We're going to create a new file, and this file is going to be called capital P proc file. And then it should have this little H kind of logo. That's for Heroku. That's the site that we're going to be doing. We're going to be using. So now what we're going to do is we're going to type capital W worker, and then we're going to do a colon, and then we're going to do node, and then whatever the main, and then whatever the name of your main bot script is. For example, mine is bot.js, so I'm going to do bot.js. Okay, and then make sure you save this one, and then also save this one. Worker node bot.js. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to GitHub Desktop, and as you can see, if you're in the repository, it now you should have different lines. So what we're going to do is we're going to type a summary. So this could be pretty much anything. I can literally spam and it'll be fine. But I'm just going to put 
and I'm just gonna put uh, YouTube. Description can be literally anything, or you can just leave it blank. I'm gonna say YouTube. <laughs> oh. Alrighty, and then I'm gonna commit to master. So now, as it's committing to the master, boom. So now we have to publish this branch. Click this, and then it'll take a little bit, but <coughs> it will work. Just wait a little bit. And while we're waiting, guys, go down there and subscribe and hit the like button. Comment down below what you think about my videos. And yeah. Okay, so now it's done. So now we can take the third link in the description to Heroku. Now, create an account with Heroku and then go to your dashboard. Now we're going to create, no, we're going to click new and then create a new app. This app name is just going to be... Oh, wait, no, wait. It has to start with a lowercase. This name is definitely taken. So, YouTube 1. How about YouTube 102? Boom. Alright, so now this is available. YouTube 102. So, let's create this app. <coughs> so, now click Connect to GitHub. And then, we're going to click this search button. And, perfect, here it is right here. YouTube bot. So, we're going to connect this. And while it's loading, boom, perfect. So then we're going to click Enable Automatic Deploys. And before we deploy the branch, we're going to head over here to Settings. And then we're going to click Add Build Pack, of course, Node.js. So that it'll know that it's Node.js Build Pack. And we're going to need a config var. So the key is token. You see where this is going? And the value is the bot token. So take the third link in the description to Discord Developer Portal. And of course, this is my bot, Heroku bot. So let's go over to the bot and the token. So we're going to copy this token, head over back, and then paste. Boom. There's our token. And then we click Add. So now everything is pretty much ready. Now we, go, now we have to go over here to Deploy, and we have to click Deploy Branch. going <coughs> and build succeeded and worker and web boom launching boom and loading output successfully deployed so now don't forget if we go back into this we go to bot server that was just my you that was just my normal server as you can see Heroku bought it offline so let's just go back and then click resources now, nothing will show up, so you have to refresh. And boom, here it is. So now the web npm start, we click this, and then take this away. And then click the worker, click on, and then confirm. Now, if we go over here and click more and view logs, it'll show what's happening. State change from starting to up. <coughs> Bot is ready. And if we head back, look at that, Heroku bot is online. <coughs> so, yes, that is essentially how to make your bot stay on 24-7. Now, at first, it, I thought it was hard, but it was actually pretty simple. You just have to download a couple of things. Now, if you want to change your code, what you can do is, so say console.log bot is ready. Say I want to change it to to the bot is ready. I'm going to do file and then I'm going to click save. Then after this, I'm going to go to 24/7 bot. Well, no. GitHub desktop I meant, sorry. And then I'm going to click Now, you don't have to put anything. You can just recommit to master. And I'm going to push origin. Sorry guys if this is like random quality. This is actually like my first time ever doing a video on um, coding a bot 24-7. So sorry about that. But anyway, so perfect. We have this. Now if we go back into the logs, Heroku. And we're going to flip this off. Refresh. Then we're going to turn it back on. Confirm. Then we're going to go to view logs. And restarting, build succeeded, and then it's going to start loading up again. 
And it should say the bot is online in a while. Yep, here it is. The bot is ready. And as you can see, Heroku bot is still online. So yeah, guys, that is essentially how to make your Discord bot stay on 24-7. Don't forget, guys, if you enjoyed, leave a like rating down below. And of course, subscribe, hit the little bell icon to never miss an upload. Leave a comment saying how you like these videos or what I can do to improve. And of course, join my Discord. I plug it every day, every time I make a video. But yeah, join it. Link in the description. See you in the next one.